engine equipped motors. Current depth two zero meters. Zero meters. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, let's um let's level out. We just crash dived. <laughs> you see, we're going down at quite a quite a rate and uh, and quite a speed, just to get away from the. Uh, Aircraft patrol, which um, almost caught us out, but we uh, reactive quick enough, and um, we're all good. Good. So where are we? I hear you cry. We're here. We're here. Um, just west of India, and we're in this zone here, which is the uh, the monsoon boats, seventh flotilla. Um, end date November first, nineteen forty three. We are currently July seventh, nineteen forty three. And what I also seen pop up, boop, is this one, the Riches of India Seventh Flotilla attack shipping in the Indian on the Indian coast, which we're also in. Um, so we, if we stay in this little area here, we can get double bubble. I'm hoping, um, uh, attacking ships off the uh, the coast. Now, uh, what we're actually gonna do? We'll actually come down south. Um, I was gonna come up here, um, but if we've got two in this region then we might as well hang around this region now I know we were looking to go and potentially last time out it's been a while sorry about the break but Christmas I, I decided to take, take a break uh, we came, tried to come in here didn't we and we had all sorts of bother so we're not going to try that again um, also we've only got two forward firing torpedoes uh, the external reserve is kind of stuck bugged type thing uh, we got three reserves or three torpedoes for the rear tube um, what we haven't used yet so that's okay from that point of view um because obviously we we did a kind of a not a full restart but we went back a few saves to try and get a stable save um we've got so far five ships five ships sunk uh for 17,290 tons which is all well and good um and we are probably going to come down here uh, home port is where is home port? It's over here. There's home port there. Um, so we're going to come down here. This is obviously where we got the last ship, a medium steam merchant uh, for five thousand tons. Nice. Uh, I will see if we can get a um, radio message out and get a resupply because it'd be nice to stay out in the in the ocean. Um, how is the crew? Morale is good, excellent, and. Um, Fuel is 60%, battery level has been recharged, everything else is looking grand. And Yeah, we skill wise we're all pretty good. He doesn't have a medal. Oh these don't have medals either. Oh okay, we need to Oh right, okay, we need yeah, we need to get some of the skills, don't we? <gasps> okay, we're we're down on skills, of course we restarted. So we don't have the skills. I forgot all about that. All about that. Yes, okay. So, um, let's get the sound guy. What do we have? First aid abilities and what's this? This is um, sound man experience. Uh, a veteran sonar knows how to tune the hydrophone in order to increase rate its sensitivity. Due to his familiar, familiar, familiarity, familiarity, that's difficult to say, with sound contacts and response time will be improved as well. Okay, so that's um, the sound man, and that is first aid, I think, ability. We will get probably ability one. Radio man, we've got... Veteran radio man knows how to tune a ra radar to increase its detection range and response times, which should be good. The skilled radio... Skilled radio operator um, knows how to tune the radio in order to increase the sensitivity and range. So, um... We're probably going to get those two for anyway, so we'll apply those. Ooh, maybe actually discard that for the moment. We'll get those two, and then we'll go to the sound guy, and we'll get those two because that's. I might get another sonar. Um, gunner, we don't need to worry about detail. What you got? Um, passive abilities. Watchman, An experienced watch officer will be able to pass his knowledge to his subordinates. And learn from them how to spot units more effectively during the day, night, or other conditions. Well, that's worth a pop, isn't it? That's worth a pop. Um, Cook, Boston, Torpedo Man. So this is the uh, improved regular maintenance of onboard torpedoes, will ensure um, nominal performance and has also reduced chances 
Upgradeability cost is zero. We'll have that. Um, so level two is one. What about this one? Passive abilities. That's um, torpedo loading. Veteran torpedo man able to motivate his men. To, yeah, we'll get loading as well. What we need to do is see if there's any um, any options which are free. So we've got cooking, bizarrely. Yeah, just have a quick look to see if there's any freebies like there was just then. I guess he'd already earned the experience to get that one for free. That's what I'm thinking. Um, thanks to his vast systems knowledge, the chief engineer may ensure the op that operations, even at non-certified depth, may pretty much be uneventful. That's one we definitely need to max out. So we don't lose bits and pieces. Now, obviously, uh, faster repairs would be good. Sound coating of the engine will be very good um, but obviously these all require points which we don't longer have but um, oh see it that's a freebie and that okay I've got another freebie there good um, gunner do we need freebies with the gunner uh, no no go no gunner freebies yeah, they're not free. Um, okay, good. I'm quite happy with that. A couple of freebies. As I say, I think that's because he'd already gained the experience, and that's why he's got that ability. So that's good. They've uh, they've leveled up a wee bit, and that's looking fantastic. Right. Um, all looking good. I think we'll come up to periscope depth. Uh, make sure everything is okay, the coast is clear, and then we'll um, pop aboard and uh, get the battery finally recharged and uh, see if we can get this torpedo in and make some um, faster traversing across the map. So, I'll see you, uh, hopefully when the action hots up or we have something to bring you which is interesting. I'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone, welcome back. Oh my goodness me. 50 minutes after we last spoke. Um, that's in real time. In game it's been days. We finally have contacts on the horizon. Look, we've got two ships. Um, I don't see... Oh, there's a there's a deck gun um, bay there where you could store a deck gun, front and rear, but I can't see any barrels protruding from it, so I don't think that's got a gun. And I can't see a deck gun on this one. However, that doesn't mean we're going to go in. Deck guns are blazing. No, we are going to try and um, get in here. As you can see, it's really murky and it's 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 middle of the night. It's really murky. Their visibility is so low, uh, which allows us to um, try and get within a, a good ambush zone uh, on the surface before we uh, we have to go under. Um, we've almost got this spare tube in, uh, the spare torpedo in. Sorry. Um, but not quite. We've got two torpedoes. So, uh, we're going to set up some shots for these ships. Hopefully, we can get them with torpedoes. If not, we do have the option to surface, I believe, to use the deck gun to finish them off. It will be a wonderful day. Um, there will be much rejoicing if it all goes well. Um, I've calculated a little time check there. It was 200 meters in a minute. So, they are going... Uh, if I have a quick look at the speed conversions, let's just pop that to one side. 200 meters in a minute is six and a half knots. So six knots would be 185 meters, seven knots is 216. So six and a half knots. So we'll put it at seven uh, and that should be grand. Right, so we're blatting it in here at um, 16 knots as you can see. Uh, what we'll do about here, I'll dive and then um, switch the engines off and we'll let our momentum carry us. Uh, into the uh, the ambush zone. This poor weather. Oh, look, his visibility is getting better. Uh, I know this is slightly cheap. I know people go, oh, you've been playing this a long time now and you're still using these cheats. Well, you know, I always think there's there's. I get the people who want to be super realism. I get that. I get that. I get the challenge. 
But when you're trying to make an entertainment video, sometimes you need a little bit of wiggle room. And I like that nice, comfortable seat between realism and playability. And I think this is a nice compromise. For me, this is what I like anyway. Right, we've now come into that zone. Crikey, we are really close. How can they not see us? Right, uh, periscope depth, everyone. Right, welcome back. Let's just hop on the uh, attack periscope then. Let's go to battle stations. Periscope up. There they are. How beautifully and gorgeous. So yeah, there's no gun in there and I can't see a gun on the rear. So it's all looking pretty good. Right, let's uh, lock on her. Let's get our engineer or our weapons officer to identify her. It's a Liberty Cargo. Wonderful. Range is, will be, 700 meters. Lovely. At speed, we, it's, yep, seven knots is about right. And angle of bow is approximately 75. God, I can't read that. My poor eyes. Oh, let's go to 76 by now. It's taken so long. Right, so we got tube one, flood. Uh, it's quite a calm day, so I'm tempted to go low with a magnetic shot. You can fire that on slow. Uh, let's fire. Sorry, I'm faffing around waiting for it to flood and it's flooded. Right, let's quickly select... Where's this other one? Here we go. Can we select that one? No, okay. Hang on. This is a bit of a faff sometimes. This is a bit of a faff. Tracking new target. It's a medium old split. Range is going to be slightly more. Torpedo's looking good for that one. Range is going to be 750. Okay, that's not too bad. 750. Do you want to have a quick look? I suppose you do. See if we get a strike. Good. Anyway, quickly back onto this one. Um, times are pressing. We're gonna. He's gonna be turning now. So angle about currently is 60. Oh, so that's pretty much spot on. Let's give that a. Blast of that. Brilliant. Tube 3. Flood. We're just going to go fast and impact. About there. Is he moving at all? Yes, he's starting to move now. Right, 750. Okay. Ready? Fire. Good, right. Both torpedoes gone. Let's get this periscope above the uh, waterline so I'm not forever peering through a screen of water. Right, how's this first hit? First hit's done well. She's um, definitely slowed, which is good to see. Second torpedo. Looking on target. It's looking good. It's going to hit just around the bridge, I think. She's gone. There goes the red flare somewhere. Lost it. Good. Good stuff. Has the other ship gone as well? Oh, do you know what? Oh, we may have just done a beautiful, rushed, but beautiful um, attack there. Yes, they're both dead. Wonderful. Well done, me. <laughs> well done, crew. Two dispatched ships. Look at that. Well, I never. That was worth waiting for, wasn't it? Hey. Let's have a look what they are. Seven ships destroyed. Woohoo! Uh, we sunk the Liberty Cargo for 7,171 tons. And we sunk the old medium split freighter for 5,189 tons. 
So that's uh, obviously ship, seven ships sunk. I'm struggling to say that today. Um, total tonnage, all merchant, is 29,650. It's a good day's work there. Well, it's a good five minutes work there. I thought that was going to take longer. I thought we were going to have to jump up with the deck gun and um, do some stuff, but no. Stand down, everyone. Fabulous. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, that tube is still is not ready loaded yet, but we've submerged as you can see. We're going to go to battle stations. We have another ship, which I'm collect literally just over the road from. These were the two the two ships we just killed. So we detected it uh, when we were underwater, and we're, he's somewhere here. He's going to be approximately 500 meters from us. Obviously, I've, I've gone past the intercept line, so we can use the rear tube. Oh, obviously, that's the only thing I've currently available to us. Um, there we go. I thought I wasn't going to be able to select the attack periscope for a moment, but uh, so he should be behind us. There he is. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's a big one. And he does have a, sh a gun there. So, um, yeah, we were doing well to get down early. A Middleton class attack transport. Holy crap. Never seen one of those before. Um, Range. So let's. Oh wow. Okay, that, we, we spotted it now. Range is going to be, as I said, five hundred meters. Nice. Um. Now I target. I I did a speed check up here somewhere. Where did I do the speed check? Do do here. Um. So what is that? That is. If I grab that. Two fifty. So he's doing seven, eight knots, isn't he? If memory serves me right, two fifty is eight knots. Yay! Okay, good. All right, hop back onto this. Uh, so he's doing eight knots. Wonderful angle of bow is. Sixty-five. God, that is so small. I can't read that. My eyes. Um, we're going to be on this side, aren't we? Lovely. Right. To pitch tube five. Select flood. We're going to go low. We're going to go magnetic. Magnetic detonator switched on. Magnetic detonator switched on. Magnetic detonator switched on. Uh, can we check to see if the magnetic detonator is switched on, boys? I'm not sure. You n you haven't been conclusive in your uh, description. Right, I think we're ready to fire, aren't we? I think he's gone past the... Let's go medium speed. Oh, I can't. Okay. Fire. Oh, I should have checked what torpedo that was. Was that one of the acoustic ones? Have we miscalculated that? Recommended to dive and silence the boat after launching. Starts listening after 400 meters. Oh, we should be okay, kid. So that's... See, I'm not sure if... Um, we may have fired that a little bit early. Or got the... Oh, no, no, no. It was... it, as long as it connects, it should be okay. It's okay. It's 
a good hit. Bits falling off. So if that's attack transport, you would expect her to um, have guns. We saw a gun on the front, but I can't... Are they guns there? I can't quite tell. They look like... No, they could be... Um, difficult to see. He may have spotted us. Periscope down. She's still there, right. Um, I guess we can start coming this way. Whew, okay, that's a good hit, uh, but obviously it wasn't enough to uh, to take her out in one go, it would seem, unless... No, she's, she hasn't gone down. Okay. Um, maybe we can get... Let's have a little spot, actually. See if we, we'll see what kind of guns she's got. Because if she's got light guns, we might be able to outrange out her. There's a whole host of smoke there. Oh, she's still got us on. Now nah, she's pinpointed us. Right. See all the water's lit up around us now. Great. Um, so we're going to move. Let's get moving, boys. Uh, and this... Let a little bit of time pass and see if um, the damage we've inflicted will um, cause the ship to sink over time. You know, it could be this flooding and fires could uh, become too much for the crew to uh, save the ship after a while. So we're going to come down here a little bit. You know, also reloading that torpedo so we're trying to get ahead of them at the same time. Um, hopefully that damage will certainly have slowed them down from their eight knots. So yeah, we'll we'll press on and hopefully uh, get into a position where, if nothing else, we can always uh, have another shot at her in a in a little while. I think fingers crossed, but she may go down, as I say, or on a, on her own um, current damage levels. So we'll wait and see. I'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, there she is. Now, she's been in that kind of listed, or listing, burning phase for about 20 minutes now. And uh, she's she's kind of, it's almost as if she's got stuck. She's forgotten how to sink. So she was going through a sinking process, and now she's just got stuck. So I think we need to give her a little bit of a, a jolt. Uh, tube 5 is now reloaded, but what I'm thinking, we are currently... 1.75 kilometers from the ship. So she's only got light guns, so she shouldn't be able to... Well, she shouldn't be that accurate from this distance. So... We're doing it. Uh, we do, we're going to have to finish her off. And if that means surfacing the boat, getting on the deck gun, that is exactly what we're going to do. Even though we're risking ourselves slightly... Uh, we know she's about 1,700 meters, so that's what we're going to uh, jump on the deck gun and uh, try and finish her off with. Okay. Let's go. Dita, where are you? There you are. Good man. Good man. And everyone rejoices. Come on, boys. Where are you? <clears throat> Boys, all yeah. stop. I'll stop. Where the, where's where's the men manning the deck gun? Maybe if I jump on it, will they um? Ah, there they go. Brilliant. Right, sw let's swing this round. Oh yeah, I forgot how slow it was. Uh, 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 crank it round, crank it round, crank it round, crank it round. Where, where have they gone? Dita, where are the boys gone? Seriously? Where, 
Where are they? <sighs> right. Okay, can I do it from his um, menu down here? Deck gun. If I go fire at will, they turn up? No, they don't. Okay. Dieter, your boys have disappeared again. I'm not liking this. Now, oh, get this bloody thing out of the way. Now, will they do it this time? That's the question. It'd be bloody useful if they did. It's not as if the waves are crashing over the deck or anything stupid like that. There they are. Well, one of them's there. Brilliant. Hello, boys. Right, let's swing the gun round. It's the calmest of calm days. I don't know why you disappeared. Seriously. Right, there she is. Now, we know she's about 1,700 metres. So, if we fire about there. That seemed a bit high. Yeah. Okay, let's drop that down to about 1,200 metres then. Fire. Whoa. Not quite sure. We'll go again. Oh, okay. We're on the downward drop of a of a, a crest there. And we're going up on the wave. Fire. Okay, we need a little bit more, as we kind of knew, but. Uh, I think the uh, going up and down on the crest of the wave threw us off on the first couple of shots. Whoa, I don't even know where that... That one hit the moon, I think. Better shots. Over. Okay. Well, we're certainly giving them plenty of warning shots, boys. Let's, um... That's looking good. Finally. Yeah, right. Now they bring out the, uh... The searchlight. You, you did... Because you didn't see those shells zipping over your head. Really? You didn't see those. Really? That one looks a little long. Yeah, a little long. But we seem to be out of range of their MGs, which is good. Okay, Bluey. Well, we'll see if they start opening up on us now. There she is. Oops! <laughs> I thought I could get a, get one uh, away before the uh, before we descended in the crest of the wave. Uh, sorry, in the uh, trough of the wave. But uh, no was the answer. That one looks like it's probably just fallen short. We need to be ac far more um, accurate, and to do that, we really need to be a little closer. But it's safer from out here. And I don't see us using the deck gun too much, so. Um... To me, or the um, the wave seems to. There we go. That's right on the water line. That should be filling them up with water. Um, we'll see. I think we've we've come to almost a stop, which is uh... ah no, misjudged that. Again, you think you can get away with it, but no, nope, just need to be patient. I say we. I need to be patient. I'm the one who's um, trying to get this done quickly. Ooh, that must have just fallen short. Oh, now we're getting a bit choppy again. No, we're still short again. Okay. That gun is all over the place. Look at it. Have we got a rubber barrel of any chance? Is that why it's flexing so much? Oh, I think that was a distress flare. I think she's blowing up, is she? Internal explosions? Possibly. She's still on my map, though. No, she's still there. Ooh. 
Ooh, an auto save. Oh god, that goes all over the place. Look at it. No, that's no more accurate. Um, we're still out of. Oh, look, we're still just about out of her visibility, which is amazing. So it's 1,700 meters. Right there. Well, that's not really calculating. We'll go back to what we were doing. Seem to have found a nice spot just there. Nice. Try and get some high explosives around the boilers. Okay. This is all good damage. Hopefully that should be soon the end of her. More internal explosions. Oh, please don't say this ship is bugged out. I'd be disappointed if we've uh, we've got a good attack on her and she's just kind of stuck. If need be, I always reverse in and uh, fire a torpedo. Hi everyone, right, um, I think she's bugged, I think she's bugged, so she's fired what, four or five um, red flares now, right, let's get, we're in her vision, so let's, let's come closer. Finish her off in yes. close range if we can. And um, see what's going on. So, oh, oh, the mast just blew off. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. Stand by. We might have some movement. Returning to course. Well, we're gonna we're gonna come a little bit closer anyway. Right, she's literally there. She's point blank range. All stop. Fire. You know, it's, why won't she sink? We're not giving up on you. If I have to fire every shell I have on board, I'll stop. I will. That's a, that sounds like another. Let's go reverse, actually. I don't want to drift too far forward. Just in case there's a gun over here, which they want to get a train on us. You know, I'm pretty sure she's bugged, but then there's part of me saying... What if she isn't, and she's just a real tough nut? Well, that just sailed into the wilderness. Back full. All stop. Okay, right. Maybe it is time to uh, use a few star shells. Load star shells. These are like our, our secret weapons. See that? Takes out lifeboats and everything. Utterly fabulous. Yeah, 
she's bugged. She's gotta be. She's gotta be. And what's worse, she's shining that bloody light in my face. Right, the rear's on fire now. That's just blown apart. Can we... Can we... Can we force this? Come on! Sink, damn you! Oh, that's some hor horrifying cries on board then. Abandon ship crew, for heaven's sake. Think of yourselves. It's all gone quiet. That's quite creepy. Ah, oh, the yes, she's gone. She's gone. Crikey, we got her eighth ship. Bloody hell! We threw everything at her. That is a Middleton class attack boat transport for 9,000 tons. Our eighth ship sunk. 38,650 tons sunk. Crikey! She was a tough old girl, that one. A really tough old girl. Right, let's get the um, secured deck gun away. Yes, sir. I thought we were firing Did blanks for a moment there, Dita. But no. She's gone. Wow. Finally. Good. Right. We're going to crack on then. Uh, and we're going to leave it there for the, this yes. episode. Thank you ever so much for joining the crew of U77 back in our uh, Monsoon Group A um, patrol. Uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you ever so much. Uh, for your support, as always, hit that thumbs up, share on social media, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and tickle the bell so you get all the uh, latest videos Returning to your to feed. Cars. Thanks so much, take care, and I'll see you next time.